Don't pause. Press play. Good morning, afternoon, evening, and good dawn, fellow Combustion fam. I hope that everyone out there is enjoying Frostfang Baryoth and all of his frozen punishing goodness. With his release, there was quite an influx on my Crit Draw HPG video, which I thank you for. And I wanted to update those builds to give my fellow Kamikaze enthusiasts something to chew on. You're a unique hunter who aspires to destroy monster faces and parts all while tenderizing the entire monster all the time, freeing up your friends to mindlessly beat on exposed monster flesh. You also have a thing for flying around a lot. Good for you. Trust me, I get it. So after a few days and lots of frost frame kills, I've come up with my personal top 4 Frostcraft punishing draw HPG builds for you to enjoy and experiment with. In a bit, we'll go over a DPS, support, and utility build, and finally I'll cover a poverty build for those who lack the primo deco hordes that everyone else has, but have plenty of time for farming monsters. For those unfamiliar with the style and you just happen to stumble upon this video, I'll leave an example in the description and in the upper right corner here for you to enjoy. YouTube stuff out the way, let's start with the weapon of choice and core skills. I prefer the Safi Rapid Cannon with 4 close range mods, the Power Barrel mod, 4 attack increases, and Volcana Divinity. This allows me more flexibility with my armor choices. If you really want options and don't care too much about raw DPS, you can always upgrade the Rapid Cannon to have an additional level 4 deco slot for built funsies. You then want to build around the following core skills. Crit Draw level 3, Crit Boost level 3, Frost Craft, Quick Sheaf level 3, and for Comfy Protection, Health Boost 3 and Divine Blessing 3. Lastly, I recommend 4 close range mods in either the Wavering Snipe mod or Power Barrel. The Snipe mod will turn your Wavering Snipe into a giant sticky shot capable of a good wake up call, while the Power Barrel will enhance your stun, stagger, and exhaustion effects leaving monsters much more vulnerable as the fight goes on. Now let's get to the first variation. Centered around DPS and bloated ass numbers, we'll be rocking a draw protection 4 jewel in our rapid cannon. The Rhyme Guard Helm Alpha with 2 critical 2 jewels, the Rhyme Guard Male Beta with a Fuhrer Vitality 4 and Vitality 1 jewel, the Bercadium Braces Beta with critical Vitality 4 and Challenger 4 jewels, the Frostfang Coil Beta with Fuhrer 4, Challenger 2 and Attack 1 jewels, the Rhyme Guard Greaves Beta with Fuhrer 4 and Attack 1 jewels, and finally the Attack 5 Charm. This gives us Frostcraft, Punishing Draw, Attack Boost 7, Agitator 5, Resentment 5, Divine Blessing 3, Quick Sheep 3, Critical Draw 3, Critical Boost 3, Health Boost 3, and Coalescence 1. Now this right here is the hardest hitting build I've ever come up with for Clutch Claw. While it gives up those easy clutches and earplugs 5 builds would get, the heavy handed claw attacks and power barrel will easily create plenty of opportunities via forced staggers, trips, part breaks, and the occasional knockouts. For those who want to play backup support but are all thumbs when it comes to playing a hunting horn or, like me, can't sword and shield to save their lives, we have the Kamikaze support build. For this build, we'll use the same draw protection 4 jewel on our rapid cannon. The Rhyme Guard Helm Beta with Fuhrer Medicine 4 jewels and Critical 2 jewels. The Rhyme Guard Mel Beta with Fuhrer Vitality 4 and Fungiform 1 jewels. The Fell Shroud Braces Alpha with Critical 2 and 2 Fungiform 1 jewels. The Frost Fang Coil Beta with Fuhrer Vitality 4 Jewels, Critical 2 and Gobbler 1 Jewels, the Rhyme Guard Greaves Beta with Fuhrer Vitality 4 and Gobbler 1 Jewels, and the Friendship Charm 5. This setup will give you Frostcraft, Punishing Draw, Resentment 4, Quick Sheaf 3, Critical Draw 3, Critical Boost 3, Divine Blessing 3, Health Boost 3, Recovery Up 3, Wide Range 5, Mushroom Mancer 3, and Speed Eating 3. With this, you'll have solid support authority on the field with some decent DPS. Your team will stay healed while also benefiting from an always tenderized monster as a result of your ever so entertaining high flying head knocking shenanigans. The additional CC from staggers etc will be greatly welcomed as well. Now there are those of you out there who shun support but don't think big fatty numbers are all it's cracked up to be either. Maybe you like having a good toolkit. For our utility buffs out there we have the following build. Our rapid cannon will stay the same with its draw protection 4 jewel and then we have the rhyme guard helm beta with the critical medicine 4 and jumping 2 jewels the Escadora Soul Alpha with Jumping 2, Sheath 1, and Drain 1 Jewels, the Rhyme Guard Vambraces Beta with a Critical Medicine 4 Jewel, the Frostfang Coil Beta with a Critical Medicine 4, Jumping 2, and Drain 1 Jewels, the Rhyme Guard Greaves Beta with a Fuhrer 4 and Drain 1 Jewel, and lastly the KO Charm 3. This gives us Frostcraft, Punishing Draw, Resentment 4, Divine Blessing 3, Health Boost 3, Recovery Up 3, Quick Sheath 3, Critical Draw 3, Critical Boost 3, Slugger 3, Evade Extender 3, Stamina Thief 3, and Flinch Free 1 for anti-trip funsies. This build will give you a bit of damage from Resentment 4, so that covers your DPS. Evade Extender 3 will seriously stretch your dodge rolls to keep you safe and out of danger, or to allow you to quickly reposition for another clutch. 
Slugger and Stamina Thief will provide extra CC in the way of staggers and overall sluggish monsters that can't raise their hands up fast enough to stop you from hitting them. If you desire something slightly different, you can swap out the KO Charm for the Earplugs Charm 4 and swap out one Jumping Jewel for the 5th level of Earplugs. This will give you that roar immunity that many people are fond of. Lastly, maybe you don't have a Deco Horde but want to live on the wild side of Crit Draw HPG. For those of you with fewer Decos but all the monster grinding time in the world, we have this build. In the Safi Rapid Cannon, we have the Medicine 1 Jewel. In the Rhyme Guard Helm Alpha, we have the KO 2 and Critical 2 Jewels. We have the Rhyme Guard Mel Alpha with a Protection 1 Jewel. The Frost Fang Vambraces Alpha with 2 Critical 2 Jewels. The Shara Isvalda Coil Alpha with Jumping 2 and Medicine 1 Jewels. The Rhyme Guard Greaves Alpha with Vitality 1 and Sheath 1 Jewels. And lastly, the Challenger Charm 5. This gives us Frostcraft, Punishing Draw, Agitator 5, Divine Blessing 3, Quick Sheath 3, Critical Draw 3, Slugger 3, Health 3, Recovery Up 3, Critical Boost 3, Coalescence 2, and 1 level of Evade Extender. The Critical Eye 2 is just a byproduct. Now in all honesty for a poverty build this is pretty good. It has better overall damage than the utility build and more utility than the DPS build. All with a fraction of the decos needed. Also if Agitator doesn't do it for you this build has flexibility with different charms and Agitator can easily be replaced by Earplugs, Resentment, Evade Window and other skills. And that's it guys. I hope this was helpful to those of you who are looking for a new upgraded Clutch Claw build with the new Frost Fang Punishing Draw upgrade. If I missed anything or you have any suggestions, please put them in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your versions or your suggestions for making this meme just a bit more badass than it already is. And as always, love, peace, and elevate your hunts guys. Lates.